the Moose Main uh, Loop Wing CDC Emerger uh, is a pretty good fly. Uh, it can be tied in sizes uh, 10s all the way down to size 20s. Uh, what's nice about it is the uh, Moose Main gives a, uh, using two strands, give a nice segmentation look. And the uh, CDC feather will float nice in the surface film. The materials needed, the hook is a uh, Dairichi Scud down eyed uh, a 1130, and uh, the abdomen is a light and dark moose mane, the thorax is peacock curl, and the wing is our two CDC feathers. I'm starting with an emerger hook, which is a curved shank hook. I'm going to tie my thread uh, two eye lengths back and then bring the thread back down uh, towards the uh, barb of the hook. And uh, the challenge of these type of hooks is to find where the uh, bend of the hook will be. So what we're trying to do is get to a 30 degree angle where the thread touches the point of the hook and then forms a 30 degree angle. That is where I'm going to stop the thread. That will be considered the bend of the hook. And now I will bring the thread to the mid shank position. Now we're going to tie in the body. I will take a light and a dark moose mane hair. I will secure it uh, together, uh, making sure that the light and the dark are side by side. I like to make sure that the dark one uh, will be wrapped fir uh, first and the white will be second. But I bring this all the way down to the bend of the hook and now I'll bring my thread back to mid shank and trim the uh, excess. Next, we'll wrap the abdomen. I'm going to get the thread out of the way. I'm holding the dark and the light uh, moose mane like a ribbon, black on the bottom, white on the top. And uh, the first wrap will always be the hardest, especially when you have a camera in between. So I just want to show you wrap it. I'm going to struggle a little bit, but I don't like uh, They have to be touching wraps. So as I hold them together, I, I'm putting the, I'm holding them pretty tight and I'll start wrapping, making sure that the black is on the bottom and the white is on the top. So as I wrap each one touching wraps, uh, it's like a ribbon. If they open up, I will just push it with my nail and just keep wrapping as I go up the shank of the hook. So I just want to make it nice and even and work my way to the uh, a little bit past the midsection of the hook. And we don't have to worry about how far we go, the farther, because we're going to be tying a thorax of peacock curl and a uh, wing of CDC. So I just keep wrapping, making sure that they touch. It looks nice. It has a nice uh, segmentation for the body. And I'll come to almost the uh, straight part of the hook. And uh, I will take my thread and uh, tie off the, uh, the black and the white moose mane. And then I'll cut the excess off. Now it's time to uh, put coating on the uh, wraps so that when a fish bites them, they don't uh, break or uh, unravel. So what I'm using here is a Solaris uh, Bone Dry Plus, and I'm going to try to keep it nice and thin and then hit it with a UV light so that it hardens. You can use head cement, but you'll have to let it dry. This dries almost immediately. Now I'm going to take two CDC feathers and I'm going to uh, put them uh, tip to tip and I'm going to lay them flat on top of the shank of the hook. Now I'll secure 
the two feathers with the with a uh, pinch loop method and lock them into place but I'm going to do it loosely so if I have to realign touch them move them into the right positions I can and I'm going to have them that they're curving upwards and I'm going so that they fold over the thorax so now that they, I have the size that I want I'm locking them into place and then I will just keep twisting them to make sure that they're on top of the shank of the hook. And then I'll trim the butts of the CDC feather and then finish uh, locking them down with the thread. So I'll make sure I cover all the butt ends and then I'll start going back towards the bend of the hook a little bit into the thorax area and lock the feathers into place. I'm going to take Picar curl. I'm going to take two strands and secure them in by the thick part, the butts, and uh, bring the thread back so that I can uh, get a thorax that is one third the shank of the hook. This way, uh, I'll have one third uh, of the thorax will be peacock curl, and two thirds will be the abdomen. So this will be the thorax. I'm going to take one strand at a time. I'm going to wrap it like a dry fly uh, hackle so that the flue uh, stick perpendicular from the shank of the hook. This will give uh, all those flue will move, give movement in the water and uh, will look pretty nice. Could give a nice full thorax. So I'll take my thread and secure the first one. Then I'll do the same thing with the second one. Let me cut the uh, butts, uh, the excess off. And now I'll take the uh, second strand and wrap it the same way. This will help secure and give a little bit of uh, permanency uh, and uh, security to the first one. And then lock that into position just like the first uh, peacock curl. And then I'll cut that off. Now I'm going to take the CDC and pull it over the thorax, but I'm going to create a loop, not just pull it over. Also, what I want to do is get my bodkin and uh, flatten out the stem uh, to make it even more pliable. So now I'm going to pull the CDC feathers, both of them, over the thorax, but I'm going to leave a loop, and I want to try to keep a loop uh, so that it lines up with the barb of the hook. And if fibers stick out, that's great because it'll end up uh, looking like a trailing shock. So this, this will really uh, give a nice look while it's floating on top of the water. And the CDC gives a, uh, will help it float in the surface film. I'm going to cut the tips. You can leave the tips on, but I'm going to, for this uh, fly, I'm going to cut them off. And then once they're cut, make sure you don't cut the loop. Now I'll build a little bit of a head. And uh, now I'll whip finish the fly. Now I'm going to take a little bit of head cement and just uh, put a drop right onto the uh, the head, the thread wraps, they'll soak right in, and the fly is complete.